Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at an update to the amazing Simply Clothes. So just in case you have no idea, we talked about Simply Clothes a while back and the beautiful thing is today I woke up to see that there is an amazing pro version update to this tool. Now if you've never had this tool before, you can simply go over to the link in the description where you can get it. But if you've purchased this tool before, right now you'll be smiling to the bank as all you need to do from your Gumroad, also from your Blender market, is to view the content or go over to your download section and you'll be able to notice that you have it right here as Simply Clothes Pro. So the Pro version actually comes with a couple of cool stuff that you would like to take a look at. Actually, if you're trying to get into Simply Clothes, we've already covered like a bit of an extensive video about it. I'm going to put that link in the description so you can check it out. And with that said, let's get right into the video. So with Blender open, so I'm just simply going to keep this cube right here and create a very tiny grid and let's, you know, scale that grid a little bit. Next thing which I'm going to do is just simply go ahead and increase this and hit control and two on the keyboard just to make sure that we have that subdivision happening there. Let's apply the subdivision. And if you've installed this, you can simply proceed to start working with this. If you've not installed it, all you need to do is download this tool, go over to edit, go to preference, go over to the add on section. And if you have this tool before, download the new one and update. If you don't have it before, you can simply download this, attach it within the add on. Now, once you drop that in the add on, just simply close that and you'll be back right here so real quick let's take a look at how you can actually get this working so first of all with this here press n on the keyboard and you click on create clothes right here you can just simply click and then make this a collision now once you click and press the playback button you can see this happening one of the most interesting things about simply clothes is you already have presets now this presets would save you a tremendous amount of time, especially when you want to simply get clothes to do certain things and you don't want to, you know, think about the parameters, the calculation, what what should be. For example, you want to work with cutting, you want to work with the denim, you want to work with leather, rubber. All you need to do is just click and you can get your feedback here. This is actually one of the highlights of this tool and I love it so much for that. And now with this new improvement, it actually comes in with some pretty live tool. So we'll get into the live tool. But before we actually get there, just in case this is the first time you've seen this tool, you can notice that it has the gravity, the speed. You can set a start time and end time. You can simply toggle back and forth if you want to see your face orientation and you have a lot of things. Now, if you dive directly from here, and jump into the edit mode you now notice that you have uh pressure you have strength you have sewing subdivisions and so on and so forth so even if you're trying to create an object or you're trying to create some clothes and you haven't actually set these things to smooth or you don't have the amount of subdivision that you want instead of going back and adding a subdivision modifier and you know playing with all of this you can simply increase the subdivision level from here and automatically that would update and at the same time you can take out the subdivision and automatically that will update so for the most part if you're also trying to see a wireframe this is basically some of the cool things that you can have here for me this is a huge you know time saver and this is like one of the best things that actually drew me to the tool so with this said let's actually take a look at some of the improvements that is now here with the new feature the very first one is the live painting tool and this is for the pinning so for example if we want to pin stuff previously if you want to pin things you have to press the tab key then you have to go over to this part and start you know painting some density pinning and stuff nope right now if you want to do that all you need to do is just click right here on the pin group live paint and this would automatically start simulating and once you click you can start adding paints and this would save you some time especially if you want to get real-time pinning feedback you can literally get this one happening here at the same time if you want to still pin in any part by default you can still go ahead and pin this and because this is using blenders built-in weight painting tool it means that you can still go ahead and pick up the blob and blow certain parts and also have tremendous result at the end of the day so once you're done just simply click on the object mode and press the playback button to get your cool result happening for you because we're working with a crumble paper you can see that the effect looks that way and because this is simply clothes you can change this to become cutting and just simply go back and press the playback button and you're also having some pretty cool result like this now the next cool feature that we're going to take a look at is the strengthen by selection feature now for this we're simply going to go ahead and create a cylinder and with this cylinder what we need to do is the same pinning that we've just made we're also going to pin one section by the way this is a subdivided cylinder so we're going to pin one section and then the other section we're simply going to select this in the edit mode and click on the plus add button 
to actually add that to the strength section so now the beautiful thing with this is if you're trying to create clothes and you don't want them to fold you don't want them to crumble you want them to retain their shape this would make a lot of sense so for example if you're trying to make things like uh, skirts or you maybe you're trying to make some sort of cotton or maybe there is a particular kind of design you're going for and you want to retain that shape you can see a side-by-side -side comparison as this makes a lot of sense now on the other hand you have yourself a slider which you can use to control the strength intensity of whatever you're trying to make you can also go ahead and turn on self collision if this is also something profitable for you and at the same time you can play with all of the other parameters if you want to make some pretty cool changes now with this said we're also going to take a look at the live paint for pressure so we have live painting for the pinning group and now there is also a pretty cool live painting for pressure now the live painting for pressure really makes a lot of sense and for that we're going to get a brand new scene so with a brand new scene open here what we would like to do is simply go ahead and create ourselves a grid so same old same old grid i'm just simply going to hit ctrl 2 just to get that there apply this oh we should have used the simply cloth though all right so i'm also going to raise this all the way up Click right here, press N on the keyboard, go over to Simply Clothes, convert this to Collider. And then I'm also going to simply make this a uh, cloth. All right. So with this set as a cloth, the next cool thing that we can do is press the playback. All right. So you can get the playback. All right. So we have this happening. It's falling all the way off. And we can also go down here and you can notice we have advanced parameters here. So if I simply click on the advanced parameter, you will notice we have pressure. If I click on pressure, we have intensity and factor. The intensity is how much pressure that we have inside, which compares to the strength that we have inside. And the factor is, you know, what controls the intensity some way, somehow that was, that's what it means. All right. So if I click on the live paint, the first thing that happens is because we have this amount of pressure right here this is going to fly away all right oh so it did that so i'm also going to jump all the way back stop this and flip this all the way back and you can see because we have a lot of intensity inside this is flying away i'm also going to go through and set this to 0 0.5 so let's make this 0 0.5 and now we can click on the live paint and you can see we have pressure but it's just hovering at this time we can go in and because this is happening in real time we can go in and start making some painting all right i can flip this all the way back and you can start noticing that the part that doesn't have the pressure actually starts you know behaving in a very interesting manner so right now you can also go in here and you can paint some parts you can paint some parts and if we flip this all the way back press the playback button you can see because there is no pressure on this part we're having them you know fold all the way in we can jump back to object mode if this is also something you want if you want to set self collision you can do that you can also reset this and press the playback button to also have some pretty cool results right here on the viewport so if you're looking forward to having some live preview real-time feedback while you make these changes and you don't want to second guess things i think this makes a lot of sense another beautiful feature that has been added is the sewing so the sewing has been well improved so if you're thinking about you know working sewing stuff the sewing looks even way better so the sewing is lovely but you know it is even lovelier right now that we have this interesting cool stuff so what i'm doing right now is just simply press n on the keyboard open up the simply cloth and make this a cloth now with this done i'm going to go ahead and press tab hold down shift and d to make a copy so i'm just going to copy this all the way to this point and with this done i would simply tap two on the keyboard to switch over to edge mode and i'm going to simply you know select all of this so hold down control to select as much as you want and i'm also going to do the same thing right here hold down control hold down control to make this selection now with this done i'll click on sew now before the sewing was lovely but now it is even way better so what i can do from here is just simply click on done and once we simulate this you can see that this is proper you would barely even notice a seam line all right it is pretty you know pretty hard for you to see a seam line i cannot find anyone here so it's pretty hard for you to see a seam line the next thing which i can do is press tab on the keyboard and make a copy of this so we can hold down shift and d as well and move this over to this point and then with that i'll press 2 on the keyboard make sure i am within my zone you know make that selection like that make another selection like this make a selection jump over to this point click on sew and click on done now once we press the playback boom this is it 
lovely you can rarely let's actually take out all of these things you can rarely notice anything that deals all right so you can rarely notice anything at all that deals with a uh, scene so you barely notice any scene in the previous one which is the standard one you might notice a scene actually if you're working with most blender tools you might notice a scene but right now with a tool like this literally you would not even notice any form of scene issues so i'm just simply going to turn this on and let's take out the grid just in case so we can actually see what's going on and i'm also going to you know show you guys what we have so you can look at this right now and you barely see a scene and once you're done making your cool stuff all you need to do is just simply click on apply clothes and you have this as an independent mesh so right now with this it is very easy for you to use this and start creating something else there is also a pretty cool feature that has also been added to this which is known as the simply pin layer system so the way that we work with the pinning system there is now a pretty cool one that you can now get some cool update and i'm also going to put a link to the documentation so that you guys can take a look at this and for me i think simply clothes seems to be like one of the best tools so far for creating clothes and if you're thinking about a tool that you can use to make clothes simulation something that is just pretty awesome and you don't want to spend so much time learning a new tool or staying on subscription then simply clothes looks like the best tool for you to get so this is definitely going to be about it if you own this tool before you can simply get the pro version without paying a fee but if you want to get this brand new tool i'm going to put a link in the description where you can get this awesome tool that you can use to create amazing looking stuff directly here in blender tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.